Welcome to Casual Nerd Reactions. I'm Chris, and today we're watching Wait Until Dark. I want to thank you for being here and watching this video. I want to thank my patrons who voted for this as the first movie of the month of May 2022. Things I know about this movie. Audrey Hepburn. Blind. Hit the like button, subscribe for more content just like this, and let's experience Wait Until Dark for the very first time. Well, that's creepy. Sorry, Louie, I'm gonna miss my plane. Yes, get the drugs in there. This music is so interesting. A little unsettling. She just literally walks in holding the doll. saw someone watching him and so she gets rid of the doll or I make yourselves comfortable doors open Lisa well he's taking make yourself at home very seriously meanwhile he's like in investigation mode Lisa doesn't live here yeah I know it's clean you want something you mr. Townman may we have weapons on the table We'll have explanations first. Once upon a time, there was a fairy princess named Lisa. And uh, she had two very good friends who shall remain nameless. It's them. They're the two friends. Their most memorable performances were that of outraged husband and detective breaking in upon guilty wife in the arms of a lover. <laughs> Our poor heroes went to jail. Or well, two of them did. Lisa would like to do something for her two unnamed friends now that they're back in circulation again. Lisa will pay you $2,000 each for a couple hours of work. Interested? What kind of work? Finding Lisa's doll. Do we hurt anybody? Not a fly. Do you care? No. What do we do? What you always do, Mr. Downman, lie and cheat and play act. Sounds kind of fun. Lisa gave the doll to a man named Hendrix. Last night, Lisa called up about the doll, but Mr. Hendrix couldn't find it. Did you look in here? We don't work safes. I know, but you talk. And that's why you've been invited to this party, to talk your way into that big black safe. There's a locked closet in the bedroom. Oh, not there, just clothes. I'd like the key. Oh, well, if you... Oh! oh. Man, over there, and I'll both of you through the door backwards. If you'd only said, please. Please. <laughs> What's in the closet? Well, whoa, oh, I was gonna say clothes. It's Lisa. I mean, that was the guy that met her at the airport, and I knew that, yet I ignored it. She's it just... trespassing, Mike, poaching, going into business for herself. Haven't you forgotten something? We just earned the money. I mean, fingerprints. Oh, dang. If you do exactly what I tell you, there'll be no problems. Get her out of here. Roll her up in this. I got a van by the corner. I'll bring it out front. She'll be found. Uh... Oh, I hope so. All she's got on her is a hotel key. When they check, they'll see she's Mrs. Harry Rote Jr. It was 2,000 each. Now it's four. So no small change. Oh, no. Oh, um... man. Sam? How long before she realizes they're there? Gloria? Honestly, wow. Like, just... This is terrifying, like... I just thought I'd call to tell you I was the best in blind school today. That's my girl. So can I come over and wait for you in the coffee shop downstairs? Is that all right, Sam? Yes. Sure. Yes, good. I'll be the one reading Peter Rabbit in Braille. Oh, she's delightful. Go. Go. Gloria, I know you're there. It's not Gloria, whoever she is. <sighs> she did. She got out. She left. Okay. What are you doing? Gloria, I promised I'd have these prints done today, and I've got to go to Asbury Park. As Asbury I Park? I'm thought sorry, you... darling, but I only found out this second. It's another night shot. Anyways, he said himself they're paying handsomely. You know there was a murder around here last night? 
Oh, if that doll woman calls, tell her I haven't found it yet. Oh, so what, he actually misplaced it? I don't want Gloria today. Nope. Gloria. Give me a hint. You can find it by yourself. I'd rather have a dog. Dogs can't <laughs> shop at the supermarket. No, and they can't rearrange the furniture either so that I trip over it. She's been sneaking cigarettes, too. I smelled smoke when I came in here yesterday. Poor old Gloria gets slammed around like a ping pong ball. Oh. Icebox needs defrosting, darling. Only my way this time. Try walking over to the studio and back. No cheating. Do I have to be the world's champion blind lady? Yes. Why? Be whatever you want me to be. <laughs> Susie. Oh, I mean it. Shh. Uh, don't you ever to be anything but Susie. Help someone be self-sufficient, but don't put so much pressure and expectations on them that they crumble under the weight. Where does the icebox plug in? We'll find it. No fair asking Gloria either. Are you looking at me? <laughs> if he really doesn't know where the doll is, then it's likely not in the safe. Gloria! Somebody! What's going on? There's something burning and I'm blind and I can't locate it. It's getting worse! Oh, oh wait, I think somebody's someone's here. Someone's here. Yay! It's, in the ashtray. it's so easy to forget that he's a bad guy. He just seems like Don't such a good guy. Request. He's the hero! My name's Mike Tallman. I used to know Sam. He saved my life. Are these Sam's, these pictures? Yes. Hey, here's one of me. <laughs> World-class liar. Please tell Sam that I uh, stopped by. Is the grocery list ready? The supermarket closes pretty soon. Maybe when you come back, you give me a hand with the icebox. She's like, I'll do it now. What did you do then? <laughs> Switch it to the frost, of course. We've got to do it Sam's way. We've got to take everything okay, out. Okay, do it Sam's way then. I'll go to the A&P. Please shut the door. Bless it yourself. You're near. Little girl, I know you're going through a lot, but be kind here. Please. No! Gloria! Or you can do that. Listen, you little monster. I won't put up with this one more <laughs> minute. Oh! Stop it! Uh, let's get her a dog and Gloria's banned from the house. You shouldn't have called me names. You're right, I shouldn't say things like that. It was wrong of me. I'm not a very good blind lady, Gloria, and I'm still not used to all this. I know I look dreadful half the time. Oh no, you're gorgeous. Aww. This turned into such a great moment. I will say I'm proud of Gloria for not just storming out. Look out, there's a knife there. <sighs> Thanks. You should like to see Mr. Sam Hunt. And you will please tell Mrs. Rose that I should also like to see her. Where are they? Ah! Uh. Here. You tell Simon to leave her alone or I'll fix him. This is some quality play acting, but I don't know what the, what their plan is. Susie, what's wrong? Mike! So there was a man in here. He just flew in like a big black crow. Yeah, he's gone now. It's all right. Look, I better call the police. He might have stolen something. And the guy just busted in. That right, Mrs. Hendricks? Why don't you send out a report or something and have him picked up? I'll decide what to do, if you don't mind. Well, I do mind. Ah, jeez. Thank you, Sergeant. It's for the Sergeant. I'll get him. We want it on the phone. Oh. This is... Well, what's a doll got to do with it? Oh, they've primed the pump. There was a woman found near here this morning. I know. She knows. Did your husband happen to know her by any chance? My husband? Of course he didn't. Was there anybody else with him at his studio? He was supposed to photograph a girl <laughs> if she didn't turn up. And nobody could verify that he was there or what he was up to, right? I keep, like, slipping into buying the lie. I'll probably be back. Is this room dirty? No, why? The sergeant kept dusting things. Oh, she's so intuitive. Uh, my name is Roth. Harry Roth Jr. <laughs> she... Oh, she's good! Has my father been here? Well, he's not crazy, I assure you, he's not crazy. Uh, he's just very old. He's not real, he's not real. He thinks that my wife has been seeing this Mr. Hunt. What is all this about, Mr. Rote? Well, I believe my father followed my wife to this apartment. You're wrong. There were testy words between my wife and my father, and my wife stormed out of the apartment with her doll. This is actually a pretty convincing and compelling story to explain the doll, explain the murdered woman, and pin it all on her husband. When my wife left the house, my father said to me, Sam Hunt gave her that doll, and then he ran out of the house to look for her. Your wife didn't come home last night? That's right. Sam brought a doll exactly like that back from Canada. 
A woman at the airport asked Sam to carry it for her. Believe Sam's story. First, the old man came in here screaming about Sam and Mrs. Rowe. He went into your bedroom and tore it apart. He must have oh, taken something, so Susie. He just so must have. Stupid smart the way they're they're doing this, leading her to figure this all out and kind of investigate it. Oh, I hate it. Mike, our wedding picture's gone. The one of Sam and me. Do you see it anywhere? I'm gonna call the police. No, they've got to forget all about us, Mike. They think Sam did it. Oh, she's trying to protect Sam. Rightly so, he's definitely innocent. There's a police car pulling up outside. Susie, I think they're watching this house. We've got to find that doll. But it's not here. We've looked for it. Mike, did you notice how I jumped when Mr. Rote Jr. came in here? He had on the exact same exact shoes. Exact same as his shoes. Father. New shoes. And I've been forgetting something very important. Oh, tell us. That I know Sam. That's it. I don't know Mr. Rote. It's what the police think that counts. If we want to help Sam, we've got to find that doll but before they do. But it isn't here. It isn't it here. It must be. Mike. It's got to be in this safe. Don't show your hand. I told you it couldn't be. And why not? The woman oh. who had this apartment before us wanted to sell it to us when we moved in. When we finally convinced her that we didn't want it, she locked it and deliberately dropped the key down the drain outside. Where are you going? To pick up my things at the apartment. Will you give me a phone number? CI2. 242. Thank you. Take back your thank you. He definitely does not deserve it. Gloria has the doll. I don't know why I didn't think of that beforehand. That makes the most sense. Oh, she's gonna hide it. Oh, come on, no, hide it, hide it, hide it well. Better, hide it better. There's a police car out there. Can you see the face of the man inside of it? Oh. No police car. A kind of squatty truck right by the phone booth. Phone booth? There's a man standing near it. Susie, he's coming this way. He's got... Hide it. You had it. Of course she did. I was only borrowing. No, quick, we've got to hide it. Good job. That's actually a pretty good place. Can you see the phone booth from upstairs? From mother's bedroom, I think. If anyone from the truck goes in and makes a call, phone me as soon as they come out. Got it? Got it. And just let the phone ring twice and then hang up. If you need me for anything, just bang on the water pipes in the corner. <laughs> I love that. You've been looking for something, I see. I couldn't find the garbage bags. You know what I think? You can't find that, though. Now, if you don't open that safe, I'll get a search warrant and drill it open. Hey, who are you phoning? The 6th Precinct. I want to speak to Mr. Rote. He must still be there. Oh, huh? oh nice. Mrs. Hendricks, I'll get him. I can get through quicker. They're calling the payphone. Gloria's watching. Hello? Good job, Glow. Be right back with a search warrant. Oh, the twitch in his eye. Oh, my goodness. Must be the wrong number. You think they figured it out that she figured it out, or? Hello? Mike, is that you? <laughs> yes, yeah, Susie. Is something the matter? I've got it. I've got the doll. Come on, Glow. Yes, okay. That's, that's the clue she needed. Okay, thank God, thank God. Oh! What does she do, what does she do, what does she do? Operator, the police emergency. You must have the wrong number. Where is it? I'll get it for you. Would you give me the key ring that's on the nail by the icebox? Where are you going? To the studio, to Sam's studio, that's where it is. She's trying to get away. Okay, Susie, fine. I'll go get it. It's in the left-hand drawer. Doll. You stay put. Make yourself a cup of hot coffee or something. What were they doing at the corner? What was that? The one out on the street, can I get by him? Not without his seeing you. You've never really met him, have you? No. Good. Sam will know what to do. And as soon as I know you're safe, I'll call the police. Okay. Call the police now, though. Uh. Oh, I'm a Girl Scout. Want to buy some cookies? Buzz off, kid. Nice. Let's call the police. Let's do it. Operator. They cut the phone line! Of course they did. That's what they were doing. Ugh. No! Oh, 
the lighting change which he knocked over the lamp. Very effective, very cool. Doth she have an idea? Oh! She's gonna turn off all the lights! This is brilliant! Also my favorite musical track of the whole movie so far. Oh, what is she gonna do now? Is she gonna home alone this place and set up some booby traps? Hypo. Chemical. It's a chemical! I don't know what hypo is, but can't wait to find out! Do, do. Yeah, all right. I'll meet you in the parking lot. How long have you known? I'm through playing around. You give me that doll and you give it to me fast! You win. It hasn't got anything to do with you or with Sam. It's different with Mr. Road, isn't it? It's that he wants to do evil things. You don't have to worry about Road. <laughs> Sheesh, that scared me. Uh, Road's dead. He didn't like us, you know. So we had to get rid of him. And a good, strong lady. Yeah. Susie Hendricks. World's champion blind lady. <laughs> And Susie. Yes, Mike. I want you to know it. Oh no! <gasps> Road's not dead. Uh, well, Harry's got a bad plan right now. Susie still has a card or two up her sleeve. What are you gonna do with that ghastly? No, you just guess. Just give him the doll. Are you looking at me? Yes, it is. <gasps> oh, good job, good job. Don't touch yes, that! Yes, get that light off, get that light off. Yeah. Ooh, she did it! Yes! Chris, now I can't see. But that's okay, I don't need to. I've got the matches, oh. Mrs. Hendricks. Shoot. <laughs> no, no. Oh, ho, 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 I love her! Is that I said? Cut up! Susie is fearless! I mean, she's obviously got a lot of fear, but she is courageous. Acting in spite of fear. Love her. Hey, <laughs> Susie Hendricks. Pick up the cane. And tap on the floor right where you are so I know where you are. Keep tapping. I love the way this is done. Come on, get out, get out, get out. Aw, oh, smart. Oh, she knows. It's all over. <laughs> you can't hurt her like a sheep. Calm down, guy. I don't know why I'm expecting him to act in any amount of morality. Now she's ready to give it to him. I don't think she has any cards left. Wait, is she gonna kill him? Well, Susie... Now I want you in the bedroom. You said you wouldn't hurt me. Did I? I must have had my fingers crossed. She get him? She got him! Yes! <laughs> Queen. <laughs> I mean, I knew he wasn't dead yet, but dang it! Kick him in the friggin' head! I know you can't really see, but I still would like to see you kick him in the head! <laughs> oh god! Come on! Oh, she found the power plug! <laughs> what happened? I'm sure she's fine! Susie! Susie, Susie. Susie, where are you? Could have another look at them. <sighs> oh, yes! Oh. Great girl. This is amazing. I'm over here. <laughs> He's like, don't forget about me. I'm glad she had a moment with Gloria. Really lovely, really beautiful. Sammy. <laughs> Wow, this was a great movie. This was so good. I loved, I just love how we started with the perspective of the bad guys. And we just slowly kept ratcheting up the complexity. 
and the intensity, layer by layer, this thing kind of was a puzzle that came un un furled. Unfurled! It was an unfurling puzzle. Uh, and every person in this film played their role to perfection. I did find myself um, leaning in and, and being fooled by the hoax, thinking that it, that was what's really happening, even though I knew otherwise. Just, uh, I kept repeatedly, repeatedly believing the lie. And uh, especially, uh, especially Mike, his lies were so on point. He was so believable. He seemed so heroic, like such a darn good guy. Audrey! Hepburn, so good. Um, at one point, uh, I was thinking I would love to just see movie after movie of this blind lady outsmarting the bad guys over and over again, except that I would never really want a sequel to this, I don't think, because uh, Dad Gum and I, she's been through enough, all right? She's the world's greatest superstar, blind lady, whatever, and she survived she was brilliant, she was so smart figuring it all out, clue after clue, and I just had so much fun watching this. I want to thank my patrons for uh, voting for, for this one. This I don't, I don't know if this is a movie I ever would have discovered on my own, so I'm so grateful for you guys suggesting this and voting it as the first movie of the month. And um, yeah, YouTube, I, I want to thank you, especially my subscribers, for being here, supporting the channel, and, and watching uh, video after video, or at least the ones that you're interested in. And I'm so grateful to you. Please hit the like button and subscribe if you're not subscribed. I'd love to uh, hang out and watch more movies together. And hey, here's some uh, videos YouTube thinks you would like, so by all means, check them out, and I'll see you in the next one. <sighs> Drop my pen. Bye!